super excited to introduce you guys to Melissa Hemsley. If you don't know Melissa, she's kind of a big deal here in London, and the best part is that she is super cool. We both almost let go. I know. I know. <laughs> All right, so what are we making today? We're gonna make a super simple salad, and it's halloumi, herby, courgette ribbon, you call it zucchini, and tomato, and loads of lime. Delicious! Let's get started. We have two food companies, one with my sister, and we love spiralizing. So if you have a spiralizer, you can turn it to really fancy noodles, but sometimes you don't want to get the spiralizer out, you don't have a spiralizer. So here's a really easy way of um, peeling it. Nice and wide and even. But any which way, let's peel together. Let's peel together. It's wow, this is like big water difference. sliding off a duck's back. <laughs> All right, moving on to the tomatoes. When they're so baby, I don't bother to chop them. The others, I will just give them a little chop. Add the tomatoes to the zucchini, then get your parsley out and give that a rough chop. I don't mind bits. I'm not like, I don't need my thing, my life like finely chopped. And I'm gonna add some mint leaves in it, but mint and tomatoes is my thing. Give those a chop too. So here's our herbs. We might as well chuck them in. It doesn't matter what order you go into. I'm just gonna squeeze it. Half of it went on my dress, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a natural air freshener in my dress. It's a hot day. In July, it feels like a lime time. Oh, I like that. Lime time. Like lime time. Should we season? Yes. Let's season. So add some salt, pepper, and your most delicious extra virgin olive oil. Mm. Glug, glug, glug. Give it a little mixy. Avo time. You know how much I love avocados, but the best part of this dish is actually not the avocados, it's the halloumi cheese. Londoners love halloumi and they are really onto something. This is the best bit. Okay, so this is the bit you could leave out if you were super hot. Every time I meet you, don't I say I'm sweating, I'm hot, I'm so yeah. hot. So sometimes I don't fry the halloumi, I'll just get some like ridiculously lovely crumbly feta and chuck it on top. The halloumi is gonna add, you know, the good fat. Right. It's gonna be filling. The stuff that really like sticks to your ribs, right? Exactly. Don't let them get all squishy, give them their own space. Everyone likes their own space. <laughs> there we go, now we're talking. So when those get nice and golden on a couple sides, toss them in your salad. We did so, it. We did it. We made a baby. <laughs> yeah, this is the most beautiful baby I've ever seen. We're gonna fight over this. Yeah. I can tell by the way you're gripping it. <laughs> like I was just holding like, it and now I can feel it's getting edged away from me. Mm. Do you wanna take this up to the rooftop and mm. yeah. Okay. yeah. Hey. Cheers. 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 <laughs> oh. Mm. It's incredible. There's such a brightness to it. You have written multiple cookbooks. You've got another one on the way. Yeah. What would you say is your food philosophy? In a nutshell, it's all about feel good food and whatever that means for you. I'm not into good food, bad food. I'm into the food that feels good for you. And I think there's no one fits all. Like your kale salad is another man's, I don't know, guacamole yeah. or whatever. Yeah. I know you love both. <laughs> yeah. Think outside of the recipe box and, and be inspired by your fridge. And that's what my mum always did. So, um, my and- My mum is from the Philippines. My mum's from the Philippines. Okay. I know you love adobo, right? And I love my Filipino viewers too. Ah, yeah. I'm half Filipino. My mum is Pampanga, but grew up in Manila. My mum's been coming with like vats of adobo. She doesn't like the way I pronounce adobo. Adobo, is that better? <laughs> and then I chuck it in the freezer and I warm it up and I take a pitch and I'm like, selfie with my oh mom, like, my thanks mom, I love you. She's the greatest. But, you know, she would not call herself a great cook. I'm not gonna call myself a great cook. I'm an untrained cook, um, but I love to feed. Mm. And the point is that we can all be good cooks. Check out Melissa's website. I'm putting it up on the screen. Check her out on Instagram at melissa.hemsley. Check out all of her stuff because it's all amazing. Do not forget to keep it quacky! Yeah.